Hello, this is Gary Wishon, the disgruntled heathen. For the last two years, people have grown in a great panic, fear, and those who, Donald, who voted for Donald Trump a massive amount of self-loathing. Look at how he transformed the Republican Party into his own little zombie legion. And they thought, this is a metaphorical God. Nothing can stop him. The Russia probe hasn't stopped him. Cons major conspiracies that we have uncovered hasn't stopped him. We're doomed. Well, last Tuesday, the American people has proven that even a God can bleed. Donald Trump, like I said, from the beginning, is the, his own worst enemy. He's going to destroy the Republican Party. The evangelicals love him. They, he brings religion unashamedly out into the light like a crack whore. It wants more and more power. It loves the attention. It loves the laws it can squash. It loves the law that it makes. Donald Trump has brought us dangerously close to a fucking theocracy. Last Tuesday, that was halted. We still have the ability to change the direction the country goes in. Unfortunately, more often than not, in the past, we have proven to be a lazy, self-involved people. I count myself in amongst that. The system that we are a part of now helps distract. You get lulled, you listen I, I including myself to what old media says you should be paying attention to. Vote for who we say you should vote. Think how we want you to think. Yes, the Republicans suffered heavy damage in the political efforts. But if we replace them with their polar opposite, if someone is just as bad but is in the Democratic Party, how are we making any progress? If the machine, political machine that's in place now picks an unworthy candidate and backs them and ignores a worthy one, how are we gonna make any progress? Just because somebody is louder than everyone else doesn't make them right, it just makes them loud. We need to pay attention to everything. We need, when we come across a candidate that is interesting and is not plugged in to the old power, that is just being ignored, we need to focus on that candidate. We need to take this untapped potential we have as individuals to find a good candidate, to support this candidate and get past every obstacle that is placed before it, whether that be the media or the political parties. Hell, why do we have to just, to just go for either Democrat or 
Republican. There was a time there was no Republicans. Abraham Lincoln and members of the Democrats and the Whigs was fed up with the way things were running. And they formed the Republican Party and they made a difference. Yes, the Republican Party is a bloated, ultra-religious corpse right now. It seems to be shambling around this country, destroying things left and right. But that can be taken down. We need to help promote people of conscience, not people who are presented before us and that we're, we're told is good. And one thing, a lot of people get concerned about the evangelicals. I think they st shot themselves in the foot was Donald Trump because what happened? They take somebody who has been married multiple times. Jesus hated, if he was the real, supposedly Jesus hated divorce. Evangelicals presented this pig of a man as godly. <sighs> Thou should not covet a neighbor's wife, which is basically a commandment against promiscuity. They presented Donald Trump as a godly man. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Donald Trump has lied 9,000 times. Well, it'll be 9,000 times before his presidency is over with. Let's face it. And they present him as a godly man. The evangelical movement has one chance. The members, the rank and file, I think, has a chance to break free of their leader's influence. That happens once every four years in the voting booth. If we present a candidate through multimedia, through these platforms, they see that candidate and they like that as an alternative. That one moment when they go in to the voting booth and evangelicals vote the most often, they have that chance to ignore what their leaders say and vote their conscience. Let's present these people that alternative. Please, I don't give a care who takes his idea and runs with it. I hope somebody does. And I don't give a shit if I get the credit for it or not. I'm not in this for credit. My ego does not need to be stroked. I would just love to see this country truly change for once. I hope somebody takes this to heart. Goodbye.